I'm not sure we should reveal the location, says Kate Hall. What if it attracts loads of people? That, I tell her, is unlikely. We've driven three hours from the central belt, taken a bouncy ride in a small boat to an island, tramped for four miles along roads and tracks, changed into wellies to wade across several hundred yards of sea-scoured mud and shell sand, scrambled up rocks, and fought our way through brambles, blackthorn, heather and sprouting hazel. We're now in the cool, damp interior of the wood. It takes time, determination, map reading and ingenuity to get here, and when you do, it looks to the unaccustomed eye like nothing more than trees. But for Hull, woodland advisor to government agency Scottish Natural Heritage, the place, a wood-covered tidal island ridge, rearing out of the sea and sand, whose top is no more than 15 metres wide and perhaps a couple of hundred long, is something like a cathedral. Our journey has brought us to a tiny sample of temperate rainforest, the habitat that once cloaked Scotland's west coast from Argyle to Westeros, but which in this pristine state is now vanishingly rare. Hall shows me the species, the tall, waving birches, the sturdier ash, holly growing in little spriggy bushes, sycamore saplings, and lots of clumps of hazel, growing in tight, straight stands of trunks, ranging from this year's twigs to the thick vertical tree stems. In their very old age the stems are bowed and gnarled, dying under the weight of ivy. One set of stems of all ages covers two or three square meters. She explains it is all the same plant, recent studies have found these trees could be thousands of years old. There are mosses and lichens, fungi and ferns, saplings, flower stems, ivy and honeysuckle. We're here in autumn but Hull first visited the place the year before, in May. It was fantastic, she says pointing to ranks of green fronded plants. You had a carpet here of wild garlic with beautiful white flowers, thousands of them, mixed in with the bluebells, then in here there was wood sorrel and the geraniums, pink flowers and white flowers. It was stunning. For Hall, the sheer richness of what she called the infill, the mid-story of shrubs, saplings and brambles and the lower levels of flowers and ferns, is vital. She has worked for SNH for 30 years preaching to the rest of the organization about woodland, and maintains a quiet but unstoppable enthusiasm. Here she is in her element, it's like a hidden lost world. There are very few places like it left in Scotland. That makes this island potentially an important resource in the effort to save a rare and dwindling habitat that is among the richest in the British Isles, Scotland's Atlantic woodlands, a rainforest with the potential to be every bit as rich and diverse as that of the tropics. There are historic reasons for the foe for more on this story, visit the news article link.